I'm Martin Hall, you're watching School of Golf Extra Credit Setup. Let's get that setup just right. As Jack Nicholas once told me, there's no excuse for not having the setup of a world class player. I agree with the Golden Bear on that one. Okay, four tips for the setup. Now, for each of these, I'm going to need a target line, so I put a white stick on the ground and I'm going to stand about parallel to that because I'm so sort of hitting a relatively straight shot by intent here. Number one thought with the setup. Very important, very overlooked this one. The angle of your head, your eye line we call it, that has a huge amount to do with your setup. If you set up with your head twisted or turned and you can see here how my right eye is way inside the left and the eyes aren't level. Sometimes people set up this way, they get a funny look on the ball. Here's, here's drill number one to get the setup right. Once you've got the set, once you, once you feel you're set in, just stand up, look out towards the horizon almost all of us have sort of a self-leveling system here your eyes will be level to the horizon and with those level eyes just look right back down again there's a very good chance for many of you that will be a new way to see the ball level eyes definitely help you hit it straighter so that's number one number two you need to get a sense of what i'd call the railway lines now the railway lines are the lines that run target line and through the shoulders and through the hips now this to me is one that you should do, it's one that when people do it, they play better. It doesn't take a lot of effort, but it does take a bit. Here we go, two bungee cords, a couple of dowels, just strap those across your body. One's going to go through your hips, one's going to go through your shoulders, and I want you to check, or perhaps have a friend check, that when you set up, the line that would run through your shoulders and through your hips, if it isn't absolutely parallel to your target line, well, by golly, it should be very, very close. Now, the top one's going to be tilted, but the line through the dowels should be parallel to your target line. Don't get the hips going one way and the shoulders going another way. That's a disaster. I think you can see in this monitor here, those two dowels are about parallel to my target line. Again, no excuse for not getting the setup to be correct takes a bit of practice but you'll get a feel there of what is square okay third setup tip when you set up engage your abs get those abs engaged just as if you're going to do a sit-up crunch you know that the feeling should be just as if you're going to do a sit-up and you'd engage your abs in a sit-up well when you have that sort of bend forward you should know your abs are engaged it should be as Alkington told me one time someone could come and take a punch in your tummy and you wouldn't flinch one bit that'll get rid of that wretched s posture and finally and this is a biggie finally you must make sure that club face is aimed about where you want the ball to start easy to say not so easy to do Unless, of course, you have the cure-all 2x4, the school of golf fixes just about everything 2x4. You can see I've put a bit of tape on this one. And I've got that at right angles to the edge of the 2x4. This is one I learned many years ago from Bob Tosky and Jim Flick. If you set up with a line on a 2x4 and it's a right angle line, and you set up and you make sure the leading edge of that golf club is at a right angle line, you can be very sure you're aimed. So if you could get your shoulders in the right position, if you can get your abs engaged, if you can get the setup right, your eye line right, you've got every chance of hitting some very, very straight golf shots. Improve your setup, I promise you'll improve your score. <laughs>